Ever wonder what is really going on when you have a control word uh, configured pseudo wire? Well, this video will show you uh, with a packet trace uh, what the difference is in uh, in a pseudo wire that doesn't have control word and one that does have control word. So what I've got here is I got a pseudo wire built from actually it's built from this ASR 9K ACR 13 down to this Alcatel Lucent 7750 uh, ECR01. So uh, the spirant traffic goes from this spirant port here through the network following this blue line up to uh, to this uh, port on the spirant here. I've configured the spirant port to use this IP address 10.1.3.2 on this end and uh, there's the MAC address and on this end 10.1.3.1 uh, and it happens to have this MAC address. Now one interesting thing you'll note is uh, one of the caveats surrounding uh, control word was it uh, you see some issues when you have a MAC address that begins with a 4 or a 6 and in this case I'm uh, my MAC address is starting with a 4. Now I have a tap set up in the middle of the core here of this on the pseudo wire so I can see the packets uh, that are coming in uh, between these two uh, routers here these two ASR 9Ks and then I can take my packet trace here <clears throat> so over here I have my my packet trace now this one on the right is uh, this was when control word is actually configured and um, I'll, I got this packet here highlighted and you notice that it is a, in fact, a uh, an MPLS packet. It's actually got two headers on it, and I have verified that this label matches my uh, my uh, outgoing label for my pseudo wire, two six two zero nine seven. And notice that it has control word. You'll see it there. Uh, and then the next header in is the actual layer two header that's you know encapsulated within the uh, MPLS packet. Notice my destination MAC address is. Uh, you know, it begins with that 4C. Now, if I look down here, highlighted in the decode, I see I see the control word is these four characters here. If I highlight that again, you'll see that's my my sequence zero control word, and my uh, MAC address starts with that 4C. So everything in this packet trace looks good and and no real issues. Now, if I look over here at this other packet trace, though. Uh, I have highlighted the exact same packet. Now notice you see a very big difference, first of all. And, um, you know, Wireshark even thinks that this is an IP packet, which is kind of interesting. And if, and I will get to that just in a second. But, it, right, if you first look at this, you're like, this doesn't make any sense. This can't be the same packet trace. But it actually is the exact same packet, although it doesn't have the uh, control word put in here. So we're looking at the same uh two label uh, two MPLS label headers here and you notice my pseudo wire 262097 it matched the other one now in this case since there's no control word uh, you the Wireshark decoded this as thinking there is an IP header um, right after this um, this uh, MPLS label but you look at it and if you look at the decode down here you'll in fact see that this uh, this is actually the MAC address that that's actually encoded here 4C0004 let me go back down here 4Z0004262022 <laughs> Delta Delta uh, that is in fact my MAC address and since it doesn't have control word it interprets that 4 in that field as an IPv4 header so that's why uh, this packet gets kinda screwed up uh, if you if you look down and, and as a result of that you're actually your checksum uh, within the IP header actually gets messed up and that of course is one of the symptoms of having um, you know ha missing that control word when you have a, a MAC address that starts with a 4 so uh, curiosity uh, was quite high on this so I wanted to see exactly what's going on in a packet trace